Hello everyone. So first of all, a big shout out for all the people out there who have watched my last video and subscribed my channel. So I would uh, thank you all of you from the bottom of my heart from the channel RD Automation Learning. We would expect same and same kind of positive response from each and every one of you in the upcoming videos also. So just for your information, we have a breaking news in the industry of robotic process automation. The Automation Anywhere has been named as a leader in the 2020 Magic Quadrant for robotic process automation by Gartner. So just sharing as you should know all the updates about the industry when you are preparing for the interview. So today's video is all about, you know, how to create the first bot in the Enterprise A2019. Now, before Enterprise A2019, in the Automation Anywhere product versions, if you see, they had started with uh, 8.x, then they came up with 9.x, 10x, and then they came up with 11x. Now, 11x is the last LTS version of the Automation Anywhere family. Now, they have started marketing and selling Enterprise A2019. So, Enterprise A2019 is the latest uh, product available for this Automation Anywhere product. So, if you are uh, trying for a job in uh, auto in RPA industry and uh, if you learn this product enterprise a2019 it would be very helpful for you in getting the job so today we are going to see how we will create the first bot so this is the control room basically it looks like similar to 11.x and you can get the trial version from uh, the automation anywhere website itself so uh, you will get you you just need to fill this form and you will get the credentials and the url in the in your email account itself so let me log into the control room So this is how it looks when uh, you are logged into the control room. You can see the dashboard of all the uh, bots that you have created so far. You can also explore uh, how what is the insight of that, how many uh, productivity has been uh, achieved because of the content that is delivered by bots. You can see the bot progress over here and the history of all the bots. Now let us quickly go to the my bots tab. Okay. So earlier in a in in the previous version of Automation Anywhere family, they used to have the client setup which we had to download, and it was a desktop-based installation. But now what they have done is they are providing the device, the bot creator or the bot runner within the control room itself. So this is one of the major difference between A2019 and the A11X product. Let us download this local bot agent. So it would auto download and you need to enable the Chrome extension. So it would connect to your computer soon and basically this is a local bot agent which you need to register in order to uh, run the bots so earlier we saw uh, the automation anywhere was a desktop based uh, client that was coming in which we used to create the bots now in a 2019 itself they have provided the gui in such a way that you don't you just have to install the bot agent and automatically it would register and you have to provide the credentials over here. So let me provide the username is all auto populated and password has to be provided. So it says local device registered. Now if we refresh this, right? So it says connected. So this is your uh, local bot agent and it is connected to your A2019 control room. Now we would go to bots section. So you can see 
the bot section that has been revised and you can create a bot over here itself now here is going to be a bigger change uh, let me name it as my first bot okay so now if you see the whole editor that was there in the client which i was just mentioning has been provided over here so this is a big change they have moved the entire editor that was there in the client into the a2019 control room itself now you can create your bots over here you the list of commands is provided you don't need to do any scripting over here uh, we would simply drag one action message box and let's say hello world and we will close this message box after five seconds let us save this so you can see it's it is based on the flow chart this flow tab now if you see the list it is based on let me yeah. so it is based on the the list that is provided it is it would display all the steps in one sequenced list form so earlier in client editor in 11x or prior versions to that it used to create a dot atmx file but over here it is creating a bot file so this is one of the big difference in this version compared to its legacy versions and if you see dual tab so dual tab means it would help you to see what what is as what what the steps that you have created as per the flow chart and as per the list as well right so as the name suggests it is dual now let us run this bot so you are so you must congratulate yourself you are going to run your first created bot very soon you all should try to uh, do this exercise do this practice exercise at your home so by the time it runs let us see um, what are the difference differences in this uh, tool so as you as you can see ae client was a separate desktop based application in version 11x in 2019 it becomes a cloud based editor over there it was a dot atmx file extension over here it is a dot based dot bot based on packages over there we used to have a local and a server repository for the for repository for bots that were getting saved over here it is private and public repository now in prior versions client needs to be downloaded manually while over here it gets auto downloaded so as we saw client it was getting connected right now so let us yeah so it is downloading all the dependencies all the packages that are required and it this a2019 is basically a cloud based uh, control room product that the automation anywhere has created and in the editor also start and end as we saw so that would be there by default every time when you open the editor those options would be there Now let us run it. So you can see the player has got invoked and it keeps uh, automatically the window will be closing in five seconds so we can see the bot has run successfully so this was a very uh, basic bot that we had created since this is the first bot that we are trying to showcase to you what over here we can also do is you can select this command and you have got options over here see 
you can either start recording and you can record with AI sense. You can change the device. You can also copy this command. So let us try to copy. So it is selected, it says copy and I would paste it. So now I would get two message box. Now let us run it. Okay, it is deploying to the computer. It is creating the packages in the backend. You can see the player window is coming up and you can see over here line number one of two the first message box has popped up now you can see the second line line two of two is action complete successfully so 100 percent bot run has happened and it is showing a confirmation message so if you face any of the issues in creating your first bot just drop a comment on this video Thank you friends for your time. Please subscribe my channel. Stay tuned for more videos.